The building in today's Explore was built in the 1940s after the original building that stood here received damage in the war and was ultimately torn down and redesigned as a branch of the Bank of England. Due to this, the site was designed with a huge gold vault on the bottom level and an independent air raid shelter with its own ventilation system. In 1986, the branch closed and was taken over by another banking provider until 1994 when that too closed and became a well-known Australian themed bar. The bar changed hands a few times over the years but remained relatively the same until 2015 when its doors closed for good. There are now plans for the building to be turned into student accommodation in the future, but for the past three years it has been left to rot, gaining the attention of local urban explorers and the homeless. And today I am here, alone, to see what's left. Hello? How's it going guys and welcome back to another video and we are in a place that is local to me that I've been trying to get in for a very, very long time uh, and just recently it became accessible so here we are. <laughs> uh, basically this is a uh, abandoned nightclub that also years and years ago used to be uh, Bank of England as well so downstairs which I'm not sure we can get to because there is a, a basement and a sub basement. The sub basement's usually flooded. I do have wellies with me but it's raining really, really hard today so it may be a lot more full than usual, which is a shame because there's supposed to be vaults down there um, and that would be really cool to see. Um, but the thing is, I wanted to come to this because this is actually somewhere that when it was open, I used to come to. So it's, it's kind of strange to be here and I thought it'd be quite interesting anyway. Uh, place looks massive though. So uh, just a quick note, uh, this is something you should not do. Um, I am on my own today, completely on my own. And that's not a joke, that's, that's I'm on my own. Last time I was on my own, I was kind of just checking sites. Today I'm actually in one which I don't know about in a big city. So um, this is something you guys shouldn't do. I shouldn't be doing it, but the problem is no one's free on Thursdays, which is when I tend to do explores. So anyway, fingers crossed everything will be fine. Um, if not, then got a phone on me, got food on me, got everything I need, I think. So uh, let's just go around and have a look. So I think we're gonna start here where I started doing the intro, um, check out the kitchen. Kitchens always seem to have interesting stuff in them. Oh wow, kitchen's kind of small. It's funny, there's like a weird like droning noise. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's like a strange droning noise in the background. Um, and I, when I first turned up, I thought somebody was working on the site because there's actually a lot of breeze blocks in pallets outside. But I don't think it is. I think it's just uh, nearby sites and aircon or something going on. Not that you need aircon today, it's bloody freezing. Right, so that's... God, we've got back door back out into the uh, backyard. And we've got back of house area maybe. Basement down there. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I can definitely hear lots of water already. Oh, damn, that's creepy. <laughs> it's like handprints in mud. So that one goes upstairs. So I think, I think this part here actually, you can tell by from the architecture, looks like it used to be the bank bit. Like it just looks, Way more solid, way more old. I mean, even the lift itself, it looks really, really old. It doesn't look like it would be something like a, like a stock lift, like you usually get in certain pubs and restaurants. Even looking at the handrails, I mean, look at the handrails. You can see that the screams bank. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to this section because I wanna go and check out the rest of the place first. And we're gonna come back to this section and do this bit last. So I'm going to go this way, which I think leads back out into the bar. And I'm going to check out the bar, toilets and that kind of, yeah we are, back behind the bar. So we'll check out bar, toilets and that kind of stuff first. And then we'll check out back house area.
So back in the day, this would have been the main entrance, just here. And it's actually, has it been bricked up? I think it has, yeah. It's been properly bricked up. That's mad. And you see, when you come in, paid your concession and that, and uh, obviously gone in, but yeah, it's been properly bricked up. I remember one time I came in here with friends and uh, one of them kind of got in a fight. I was getting a bit lippy with someone basically and I was sat in a table just here and uh, I basically went over to them and pulled my mate away and the guy who was, he was having an argument with Karen was about 10 minutes later and was like, mate, are you a bouncer? And I was like, no, just having a drink, he's my mate. And he was like, oh, thank fuck for that. I thought he was going to throw me out. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I was wearing all black at the time, which probably made him think I was a bouncer, but it was funny. I've just noticed over here, there's actually like a ladder, which I'm guessing goes to like a DJ booth. <sighs> yep, definitely someone been staying here. I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good. I think it may just be a case of me getting over paranoid because I'm on my own, which is obviously not, not what I recommend at all. So, problem is we are in a very busy area. Out the back, there's a, there's a massive multi-story car park. Out the front is the high street. This side, we've got another pub and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's busy, even though it's raining, there's lots of people walking around. So, Going to carry on. <laughs> and fingers crossed, I won't hear anything else. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see how far that goes down. That goes down really far. I feel a breeze as well. And that goes all the way up as well. Jesus. <laughs> Some mad person saw you climb through that as well. <laughs> oh, so this is the upstairs of that staircase. Look at this door. They're so thick. That's massive and it's got like a little peephole thing. One or two, or like it would have been glass, you can tell it's the paint painted over. But yeah, okay, this is definitely a bank section. Little bars and stuff on the windows as well. That's mad. Hello? This is creepy as fuck. Hello? Oh my god, this is trashed. Shit. How do you guys can see that? That's like. Well, I can see water at the bottom for starters, but that is like four, maybe five stories down. That's mad. That's absolutely mad. And it goes up another one as well. Fire instructions. Okay, it's the assembly point of where to go. I mean, this, this again, this doesn't look like 
It's almost like they've kept some of the original stuff from like the bank. This doesn't look like I can I can imagine this wouldn't be in a pub. It looks really strange to be in a pub. God, this place is fucking. Oh shit! Okay. There's a fucking lift shaft right there, and it's open. Yeah. See again. Look. This looks like a bank lift. I don't know why. It just looks like a bank lift. It does not look like no lift. But whoa. Stay away from here with that. Look at this. It looks like a kitchen, which is strange. It does look like a kitchen with this massive hood. And you've got like uh, tiles on the walls and things. But uh, yeah, there's a random massive safe. What is that? Is that like a speaker? I don't know. It's like a kind of speaker or something. I'm guessing at some point this would have been like the bank offices. It's like the bank manager, you'd come in if you wanted a loan and stuff. first. Hopefully get to the roof. I don't think it opens. Okay. Down we go. I wasn't expecting that. Changed the battery because I've been down here filming so much. But I, yes, I was talking to myself. I was just saying to myself, I'm crazy. Trust me. Uh, I was just saying to myself, like this is this in itself. This one room is is made the whole looks well worth it. Yes, upstairs is pretty cool. It's also quite trashed, uh, but still cool. Obviously, I used to go there. But down here, like the fuck, <laughs> that's mad. Is that wait? Is that where I came in? No, it's not. That's a day is another one. God, there's so many volts. This one has safes in it as well. Holy fucking shit. 
I'm guessing this must have been the cash office for um, upstairs, this part. Must have been. I'm gonna have to blur that bit out. <laughs> um, but I'm sure this must have been the cash office. You wouldn't even need a bank, would you? Just keep it all in the vault. <laughs> So we've got, uh, yeah, this obviously would be some kind of cash room at some point for the bank. Looks like they used it for like storage for food, maybe. So we've got, oh, no, so this would have been, oh, I see, this would have been their cellar, like their alcohol store. I tell you, it must have been so freaking cool to come down here when you were working here. I wonder if they were allowed to tell people there was a vault in the basement. I bet they weren't. <laughs> There's a tiny little vault just here, which is, I'm guessing, to cover up the. Oh, I see. So now what, what they've done now is they've run lines through, but what which would have been at some point, you can probably see, it's got like initials and stuff on it behind the lines, but what it would have been at some point is like a hatch where they could have passed money through the vault rather than get, opening the main door. But obviously they've, they've bricked it up at some point now and uh, run the lines through it for the pub. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's amazing what they'll reuse. It's good though, this is a perfect example of what you should do. Stuff like this, why would you want to rip it all out? Wow, look at this. What is this? I don't know what it is, but it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I literally have no clue <laughs> at all what I'm looking at. Uh, oh, is it boiler? It's a boiler, oh, okay. That sounds like it should have been really obvious, but <laughs> it wasn't that obvious. Oh, oh, okay then. Okay, <laughs> right, so you know what it has said it was flooded? So that looks like, let me turn this, this up a bit, so you guys can see properly, that's the wrong way. There we go. So that is on the level we're at now, and it's flooded. So what do we reckon downstairs is gonna look like? Oh yeah, this as well, yeah. You can just about see, it's not as bad as the other room, but it's still pretty flooded. Well, I'll be honest, I'm not holding out much hope for, um, this next part, because I think it's going to be completely flooded, considering up here it's flooded. Although, that could just be from rainwater. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll see how far we can go, because some people have left these pallets here so we can stand on them. But it's proper, proper flooded. Oh, actually you can go quite far, that's Oh, there's a, yeah, there's another vault down here. Another one. Oh, that's so cool. It's not that deep, to be fair. I might be able to get away with my boots. So I'm actually in the room now. Uh, I haven't put my boots on because I don't want to go too far in any case. Like, there's any holes. I mean, it could be a hole to another basement below, which, <laughs> you know, if I fall through that, I'm fucked, <laughs> basically. There's no signal down here. There's no... Um, I can't call anybody there's any issues on my, on my, on my own. It's, it's just too dangerous. So what I've done is I've, I've stepped across the pallets. I'm actually stood right in the middle of the water right now. Um, so you guys can see a close up of the, the vault downstairs and a few other bits, but I'm not gonna venture off. So as you can tell, I'm on a pallet right in the middle of the water. Basically stepped across from over there. And uh, now I'm sort of in the middle of the room. But yeah, it's pretty much the same as, as upstairs. You've got like a massive vault, which is, is so cool. I, I, I don't wanna you know, downplay it. It is so, so cool. I've never come across a vault. To come across two and loads of little ones is incredible. So that's amazing. And look at the rust down there as well. That is just never gonna shut ever again. <laughs> uh, we've got again, small vault and a door that leads around, I'm guessing probably all the way around, like the one here. Goes around and goes all the way around, just like upstairs. And then over there, we've got another, well, it looks like a locked door. I don't know if I can get into that one. And, uh, and another room, but it looks pretty empty from what I can see. I can't really tell too much, but I'm not gonna go that, that way, but it looks pretty empty. There's a random, I just noticed there's a random like lift button thing over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just on the wall. I wonder if that's like um, a cool button for the lift here, or if that's like a cool button for something else.
twice. So that has been the abandoned nightclub stroke abandoned bank with vaults downstairs. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been an incredible explore. Really enjoyed this, even though I've been on my own, which is a shame because like, I like experiencing this with other people, but you can't always have that sometimes, they're not available, etc. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you again next time. See ya!